guys welcome to our channel ai everywhere in this video we are going to discuss about various ai inference engine that are open source and are part of open source community the agenda of this video is to give a brief introduction to the ai inference engine followed by list of inference tools uh, that are open source and available such as tensorflow lite paddle lite onx mnn and cnn etc so what is ai inference engine by the way ai inference engines are lightweight inference libraries these libraries convert models that are developed in different frameworks such as tensorflow or python to platform specific optimized libraries so here the platform means it can be either android uh, ios it can be and adreno gpu it can be mali gpu it can be an x86 architecture and so on so this inference engine is are also known as deployment engine or inference framework so these framework these inference framework or inference engines they contain various tools to optimize quantize compress deep learning models and provide cross platform compilation capabilities since it provides uh, cross platform compilation capabilities and uh, the optimized uh, libraries for a specific platform are uh, are very small it occupies low memory space and have optimized memory layout for fast data access to summarize it up let's say you have a model that is written in any one of the framework such as tensorflow python paddle paddle etc we then use one of the hardware such as gpu cpu hpu or any other cloud services to do the training so once your model is trained we then have to convert the model to inference format such as inference engine to make it compatible with any one of the edge platforms such as arm android embedded system etc so we'll go with the first one that is tensorflow lite so these are the steps that usually take place when converting a model to tensorflow lite so we can see here tf lite converter is needed to convert tensorflow model to tensorflow lite whereas onx format is needed to convert pytorch or paddle paddle model to tensorflow lite so once the model is converted to tensorflow lite it can then form an optimized libraries for any of the edge devices such as android ios embedded system etc the next one is paddle lite it is an open source project by paddle paddle these are the steps that are mostly involved in converting a model to paddle lite tensorflow and pytorch requires an api x2 paddle to convert these models to paddle lite so once the model is converted to paddle lite it can then be easily deployed to any one of the edge devices so let us see what else hardware are supported as part of paddle lite so these are the list of hardware that are supported by paddle lite as of today since we are mostly interested in android and ios we see that both android and ios cpu as well as gpu are supported by paddle lite we see that opencl is currently supported where uh, that means uh, the gpu of android can be triggered by opencl framework whereas metal is supported for ios gpu coming to the next part onx so onx stand for open neural network exchange it is the most popular and widely used format across the industry and public so we need to use onx plus onx runtime to convert any model from any one of the framework such as tensorflow and pytorch to convert it to onx runtime based libraries these onx runtime are platform specific for example if you want to deploy a model on android we need to have onx runtime mobile if you want to deploy 
a model on an IOA, we need to have a ONX runtime platform specific libraries. So once we have an ONX runtime platform specific libraries, we can then go ahead and deploy a model on any one of the devices. ONX also supports execution provider. So execution providers are a special APIs that are designed by device vendors to accelerate neural network models on their devices. So these are the list of execution providers that are currently part of ONX. So for example, you can see your Android Neural Networks API. It is a neural networks API that is provided by Google. So ONX supports this API to in order to run the deep neural networks using this API. So likewise, we have n number of execution providers that are currently supported by ONX. NCNN. It is also one of the most popular and widely used inference engine developed by Tencent. The requirement of NCNN is the model has to be first converted to ONX. Once we have an ONX formatted model, this model has to be converted to NCNN using NCNN available tools. So once we have NCNN available tools, we can then deploy the models on any one of the devices. So let us see what all hardwares are supported by NCNN. So these are the list of hardware that are currently supported by NCNN. For example, uh, we can have a look like Android, uh, Android x86, iOS, iOS simulator and we have a support for CPU, GPU as well. That means NCNN can output platform specific library that can that allows model to run on Android GPU as well as CPU as mentioned in this table. We will move on to LibTorch which is a product of PyTorch. Since PyTorch, I think TensorFlow and Paddle Paddles are not currently supported. However, they get supported after doing a lot of conversion such as TensorFlow to ONX and then ONX to PyTorch and then PyTorch to TorScript etc. So I have not given those details in depth in this slide. So we have a PyTorch model we then convert it to TorScript and with the help of LibTorch we deploy the PyTorch model to any of the platform specific libraries. We have mobile neural network by Alibaba. So mobile neural network is also the most widely used inferencing framework. So PyTorch and TensorFlow models has to be first converted to MNN converter. So this MNN converter convert these models to MNN specific libraries. So once we have this MNN specific platform specific libraries, uh, this will allow the models that have been converted to run on any one of the edge devices. Whereas in case of paddle paddle, the paddle paddle format has to be first converted to ONX and then from ONX it has to uh, get converted to MNN format using MNN converter. So let us see what all platforms are supported by MNN. So these are the list of sub platforms that are currently supported as part of MNN. So since we are mostly focused on Android and iOS devices, we see that both Android and iOS CPU as well as GPUs are supported by MNN. We see that OpenCL and Vulkan are supported for both normal and FP16 precision um, whereas Metal is supported for both normal and FP16. That means in order to interact with these mobile devices, mobile GPU devices, we need to have a support for OpenCL, Vulkan and Metal and these three APIs are currently supported by MNN. So with that being said, let's wrap up the most popular used AI inference engine so far. So these AI inference engines are most widely used as of today, um, depending on the GitHub statistics. Although there are many inference engines or inference framework, you can say, I have not covered those 
tools in this slide because these slides were mostly focused on Android and iOS development devices. I hope you have liked the video and have gained a good overview of what Inference Engine is and what our tools are readily available as part of open source project. I would suggest you to go through the tools one by one and explore them in detail. I hope uh, you have liked the video. Thank you.